The diagram opposite shows a complete curve in the plane. Taking the domain to be OR, explain why the curve does not represent a function. State the largest domain that would let the curve represent a function. With this domain, state the range of the function. So this is a complete curve, which means it doesn't go on forever, so it's literally what we see on the plane. So taking the domain to be OR, the real number set, so basically we can sub in x values of any number in the real number set. We need to explain why this curve does not represent a function. Well, the curve does not represent a function as there are vertical lines, for example, x equals minus 5, which do not intersect the curve. So if I draw in a vertical line at x equals minus 5, I can see that this line, this vertical line at x equals minus 5, does not intersect my curve in any way. So, therefore, this cannot be a function. Because in part 1, the domain is OR, which is the real number set, which means any x values, positive or negative, fractions or decimal. Real number set is all numbers on the real number line. So question two, state the largest domain that would let the curve represent a function. Well, if we restrict the domain to the interval from minus four to four, so if we let our x values go from minus four to four, written like this, so it's square brackets, minus four comma, four comma, then the curve represents a function. So if we were to use x values from minus 4 up as far as 4, then any vertical lines that we could draw from minus 4 up as far as 4 would intersect our curve. Question 3. With this domain, state the range of the function. Then the range is 0, 16, i.e., the interval from the lowest value on the y-axis to the highest value on the y-axis. So 0 all the way up as far as 16. That is the range from 0 to 16. So we need to learn off that domain represents x values or inputs into a function and range represents y values or outputs of a function. So it's important that we learn this off by heart.